director here have been here 15 years it's a nonprofit 501 c3 food pantry it serves all the clients that live in Angelina County the main mission is to do what God tells us to do by helping our fellow man there are a lot of people in this county in the world that go hungry and they shouldn't have to we're celebrating our 41st year this year of helping Angelina County so it's a massive undertaking. We do a lot of different programs, but it's all around food. It's regular food that people come in and get. We have helping hands, we have uh, backpack buddies, we have homeless, but it's all food. But we also have always done TXU vouchers, uh, gas vouchers to get to doctor's offices. So it's a lot that we do. Well, we get here as early as 6.30, get ready to uh, disperse the food, then the volunteers start coming in and we have a meeting around 8.45, say a prayer for all the clients, open up the doors and serve them till 11.30 and then we clean up and get ready for the next day. We just recently in April started opening back up Monday through Friday. There are close to 200 food pantries in the East Texas regional area of the 26 counties. Some food pantries open once a week, some serve once a month. We serve five days a week. That gives you five different opportunities to come, but you can only come once a week. But we give nearly $75 worth of food each time you come. So that helps when you're having to choose between your electric bill and feeding yourself, or especially for elderly, medication and feeding yourself. So we know we're making a difference. We may not have to get a pat on the back every day, but as long as you give your best, all you really need is, is an approval from God. And I know you tried your best today. My name is Janet Turillo and I'm a volunteer. We, Carmen and I, this is Carmen. Mm -hmm. Carmen Warner, yep. And we interview and what we do from that is we uh, meet the clients at the front door. We take their information, we check them in, and if everything is good, we send them around to have their food filled up in their basket. They used to come in here, and then we'd interview them in here, pre-COVID, and then they'd go through the line themselves. So this is, this is our produce room. This will be the distribution room where they bring the basket and they get some meat, which hasn't been put out here yet, and then a sack of food. So then they get their produce, uh, bread, sweets, and sometimes flowers, sometimes extra things and they go out the door with their basket. This is our backpack buddy room. We do, right now we're doing 325 backpacks a week. We do Aunt Luckin ISD, Hudson ISD, Zavala ISD, and Piney Woods. This is our warehouse. So we also have an annex across the street where we house more food. There's a community food drive uh, done at Thanksgiving that serves about 1,200 people. That food actually comes from us. I only have four staff. Last year we served 90,000 people. We served over a million pounds of food. Your today does not determine your tomorrow. Just because you're at this food pantry, one day you could be in the food pantry. You could be running the food pantry. So it's just the way you look at it. I tell people all the time, you never know who you might meet. Everyone says, oh no, I need a job. I, I got to make some money. But you get more than just money here. I mean, when you volunteer, it's the people that you meet and the lives that you have an opportunity to change. Because you could be sitting or working next to a CEO, or you could be working next to a person doing community service. Because everyone, it takes an, a collective effort to feed the community. No one is here to judge. If you have capable hands and feet and the right heart, 
you can volunteer. And it can not only just benefit the person that you're serving, but it'll benefit you. Because you always feel better when you're helping somebody. We get an opportunity to see people that we might not see uh, just on our daily walk. We get to meet people and find out their needs and help them in, in a various ways. Because not only is it the food, but sometimes they just need a hug. Sometimes they need a smile. Just uh, an ear. Sometimes they yeah. want to tell you about their what's going on with them at, you know, at, at the present time. If they're having a little trouble, and they just want someone to listen mm -hmm. sometimes. That two weeks or whatever we got an order from the governor to shut down, they felt it. We close down a week for Thanksgiving and two weeks for Christmas. We give Thanksgiving away the week before we close. So we are closed two weeks for Christmas so the volunteers can be with their families. You can tell the difference when we've been closed and we come back the next day. They miss us. So we know we're impacting their lives in a positive way. We, we are family. My volunteers and my clients, we have seen them come in walking and being on a walker and being on a wheelchair and then look in the paper and they're no longer with us so it's sad but you know you're helping not just a stranger you're helping your fellow man and that's what God wants us to do we're all the same we might look differently but we're all the same we're all brothers and sisters in Christ